Have you spaced out about the NASA space program, lost track of what's going on at the Kennedy Space Center? Well, in this video, we'll bring you up to date. As you probably know, SpaceX and Orbital Sciences have contracts with NASA to deliver cargo and supplies to the International Space Station. SpaceX has completed four missions from the Cape using its Dragon spacecraft, with the next resupply launch scheduled no earlier than December 16th. Orbital Sciences is also contracted with NASA for ISS resupply missions using its Cygnus spacecraft. They've launched from Wallops Island, Virginia, but their recent catastrophic failure of an Antares rocket will significantly delay their next missions, and it's possible Orbital may move their launches to our area as well. Another major NASA program is called the Commercial Crew Program. Its goal is to once again launch astronauts from American soil. Contracts for the next phase of the Commercial Crew Program were recently awarded to SpaceX and Boeing. The first goal is low Earth orbit, followed by potentially sending astronauts to the ISS. Boeing will launch its CST-100 spacecraft aboard a ULA Atlas V, while SpaceX will be launching the Crew Dragon using its Falcon 9 rocket. The purpose of the Commercial Crew Program is to end our dependence on Russia for a lift to the space station by 2017. And perhaps the most exciting NASA initiative is the Orion spacecraft. It's currently sitting atop a Delta IV heavy rocket at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, waiting for a December 4 test flight. The Orion spacecraft is built to take humans farther than they've ever gone before. It will serve as the exploration vehicle that will carry a crew to space and provide for their safe return. The December 4 launch will be a test flight for Orion, sending it on a two-orbit, four-and-a-half-hour flight that will check critical components such as the heat shield, parachutes, and avionics. The Orion test flight will be a flashback of sorts. Orion is expected to orbit 3,600 miles above the Earth, and the last time that a craft was capable of transporting humans this high was 1972, on our last trip back from the Moon. In the future, Orion will launch on NASA's new heavy lift rocket, the Space Launch System, or SLS. More powerful than any rocket ever built, SLS will be capable of sending humans to deep space destinations such as an asteroid and eventually Mars. For WFIT, I'm Rick Lasby.